Owaza Biosmart 5000 and Biosmart 10,000 are simple, easy to install, and very effective flow-through pond filters. So let's install the Biosmart 5000. We recommend locating the filter in a flood-protected position at least six and a half feet from the pond's edge on firm level ground. You'll need access to the cover for routine maintenance and cleaning. Begin by ensuring that there's sufficient downward slope for water to return to the pond and for waste to exit the filter. Lay out the three inch pipe for the clean water return. Bearing in mind that the filter requires at least a three inch diameter return pitched towards the pond. If the pipe is smaller or the pitch insufficient, the filter may back up and overflow. Next, lay out the drain hose for the dirty water from cleaning the filter. Pitch downwards from the valve at the bottom of the filter to a drain, or better yet, a garden where the nutrients can feed your favorite plants. Once the pitch on the return and drain lines have been verified, use the supplied adapter and gasket to adapt the metric fitting outlet to three inches. Place the gasket into the adapter with the slope side facing out and twist it onto the outlet. On the opposite side are the filter inlets. You may choose to install the filter with or without an optional Waza Vitronic UVC clarifier. We'll show you both ways. If you're not using a clarifier, you will need the supplied inlet fittings. Male threaded stepped adapters with flat washers on the outside of the filter and female threaded nozzle inlets on the inside of the filter. Unclip the foam assembly and set it aside. With a flat sealing gasket in place on the stepped adapter, push the threads through the inlet on the filter. Next, slide the O-ring over the threads from the inside, then screw the inlet nozzle onto the threads of the adapter from the inside, ensuring that the opening of the inlet nozzle points downwards. Repeat for the second water inlet. The adapters are both closed. One will typically stay closed. The other should be sized to the pipe coming from the pump and the unused steps cut off for maximum flow. During normal filter operations, the sludge drain should be closed using the supplied cap. To permanently fit a two inch hose to the sludge drain instead, remove the cap from the dirt drain, push a union nut over the two inch threaded nozzle, Insert the flat sealing ring in the union nut and firmly tighten the nozzle on the sludge drain. You can then slip a hose clamp over the two inch drain hose, push the hose onto the adapter and tighten the hose clamp. Inside, the sludge drain is operated by a blue handle, which should be left down, keeping the drain valve closed, except when cleaning the Biosmart. Replace the foam assembly. The built-in thermometer will indicate when temperatures drop below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, at which time biological activity slows, fish can no longer digest food, and little waste is generated. This is the time for an end-of-season cleaning, which we will cover in our Maintaining the Biosmart video. The Quick Connect garden hose fitting in the tray will make cleaning and refilling easier. If you are using the Awaza Vitronic UVC clarifier, as we decided to do, the installation will not require the two closed step adapters. With the foam assembly unlatched and set aside, remove the cover cap on the UVC. Verify that both sealing gaskets are in place and insert the clarifier into the inlets. Place O-rings over the threads of the UVC and screw on the nozzle adapters with the outlets directed downwards. Replace the foam assembly and lock in place. Then attach the clear stepped adapter with union nut and flat washer supplied with the Vitronic. Time to consider some options. The slotted area behind the inlets can be used for pond additives, such as filter starters, bacteria, or pond treatments, where the water flow will ensure good distribution to both the filter and the pond. 
You may also choose to connect an optional Awaza Aqua Oxy 450 air compressor and spherical air diffuser to supply additional oxygen and enhance biological activity in the filter and the pond. To access the pre-installed air supply elbow, unlatch and remove the foam assembly. Locate the blue elbow and remove it from the tray. Pass the airline tubing up through the hole where the elbow sits. Cut off a sufficient length of tubing for the air diffuser to hang above the bottom of the filter, about 10 inches, and attach the tubing to the top of the elbow and then to the diffuser. Then attach the rest of the hose to the bottom of the elbow before replacing it in the hole under the tray. Replace and latch the tray and the filter is now ready to connect to return, drain, and pump lines. The filter manual provides a choice of pumps to properly pair to your filter and meet the requirements for the clear water guarantee. Follow the instruction manual included with the pump for proper connection to the pipe. Select the largest diameter pipe feasible, avoiding sharp bends and kinks, to avoid pressure loss and reduce flow from the pump. With the fittings all in place, set the filter in position. Test fit the line from the pump on the inlet step adapter. Cut off the unneeded segments of the stepped adapter. Slip a hose clamp over the hose and twist it snugly onto the adapter. Then tighten the hose clamp. Attach the three inch return line with either a standard schedule 40 coupling and solvent cement or a flexible three inch rubber coupling secured with band clamps. We used a rubber coupling to attach the three inch flexible pipe back to the water feature. Cover or conceal the plumbing. Prior to starting up the unit, check that all clamps on the internal cover are closed. Then plug in the pump and check for leaks. The filter will immediately begin to remove solid waste, but bear in mind that the Biosmart is also a biological system. Ammonia and nitrate removal require the development of slow-growing beneficial bacterial colonies in the foams. The filter will take several weeks after first installation to reach its full biological effect and must be run continuously to retain biological efficiency. And that's everything you need to know to install your Biosmart flow-through pond filter, but we're afraid to ask. Next up, maintenance for the Biosmart. Don't forget to like and follow us on social media. Check out our website for more in-depth information on this and all our products. See you in the next video.